Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rocker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the mirror effect. So let's begin. <laughs> All that you need to complete this effect is some footage and a multi-track video editor. So once you have those, let's get them onto the computer and let's begin to do this effect. So once we have loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we just need to begin by importing our footage. So we are going to go down to Import Media to start, double click, press Import, and then we're just going to navigate through our finder and we're going to find our video files. So from here, I'm just going to create a brand new sequence. So I'm going to go up to File new sequence i'm going to call this mirror and then i'm just going to go across to the settings tab and i'm going to make sure that all of these settings are correct so i'm going to make sure that the time base is 23.976 frames per second i'm going to make sure that the frame size is 1920 by 1080 and make sure that we have square pixels and then everything else there is completely fine so i'm just going to press ok with that and as soon as that sequence has been created, we just want to drag our footage into that sequence. So we're just going to select this video layer here and we're just going to drag it into the sequence. So this is a video clip that I used for the intro of this video. And this is me just addressing the camera, just telling you that today we're going to do a mirror effect. So we're just going to do the mirror effect on this video clip. Uh, to begin with though, I'm just going to get rid of this audio because I don't feel like we need it here. So I'm just going to unlink that. And then I'm just going to select all of these audio layers and just delete those from this sequence. To do this mirror effect, we first need to begin by duplicating this video layer. So I'm just going to hold down command and press C. I'm going to scroll back to the beginning and lock that first video layer. Then I'm going to hold down on command and press V. That's going to copy and paste that video layer on top of that other one. So now we've got two video layers exactly identical to one another, perfectly in time with each other but we need to rotate this first video layer here. So we need to do the mirror effect on it. So selecting this layer, I'm gonna go over to the effects tab and I'm gonna search for basic 3D and that's this one right here. And then I'm gonna drag that on top of that video layer footage right there. So up here in the effect controls tab, we have the basic 3D menu and that's gonna give us the option to change the swivel, change the tilt and the distance to image. That's just a scaling. But for this example, all that we're going to do is just adjust the swivel. So we're just going to make that 180. And that's completely flipped it around the other way. So now from here, I'm just going to position this across to the right. So I'm going to go up to the position and where it says 960, I'm just going to drag this across to the right. And I'm happy with that there. Perfect. Now I'm just going to hide this layer. So I'm going to press the eyeball right here. I'm going to select the layer below and I'm just going to go up to the position and I'm just going to drag this to the left. And that is perfect right there. Now I'm just going to reveal that layer from above again. This is mirrored, but we've got all of this messy video layer here on the left and we don't want that. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to go into our effects tab. We're going to search for crop and then we're just going to drag crop on that top video layer. So we'll scroll down in the effect controls tab, find a left on the crop. And then we're just going to drag that across until it matches up with this image perfectly. So you want to find the point where it mirrors. You don't want to do the effect here. You don't want to do the effect here. You want to try and find the point where the mirror is perfect in the middle. Now, if we wanted to take this another step further and we wanted to mirror on the bottom pane here, so we wanted to flip it so we had four heads, then we could do the same thing again. So we're just going to copy both of these video layers. So Command C. We're going to go back to the very beginning padlock both of these layers and we're just going to hold command and press a V. Now that's just going to duplicate that layer and now from here we just want to add our basic 3D again. So we're just going to go to effects, search for basic 3D, drag that on top of the third video layer and we're going to make our tilt 180. And then we're going to do the same thing for this layer on the right here. So we're going to go up to video layer 4 and we're going to make the tilt 180. Perfect. So from here, we just want to crop the top of this layer off. So because this top layer already has crop applied, we can just go through and do that right now. So we'll just adjust that to there. So that's 50%. And then I'm going to add crop to this second layer here. So I'm just going to search for crop in effects again. Drag that on top of this layer. And you want to match the percentage of this other layer here. So we cropped that to 50% on the top. 
So we're going to do the same thing on this layer here. That's video layer three. So we go across the top and we'll change that to 50%. And that's it, the mirror effect is now complete. You can do this effect as much as you like and you can even animate this effect to make it look really cool and create a kaleidoscope effect. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see regular filmmaking and photography tutorial videos. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.